Hello, this is Patrick with Arroyas, and today I'll be teaching you how to use the animation player, create custom animations, and use GD Script to trigger those animations through code. Okay, let's dive right in. Okay, right as you can see, I've got this very basic 3D scene set up, and I am going to go and add a animation player right here. And I'm just going to child this cube to it because that's what I'm going to animate, and I'm just going to do that for uh, visual clarity. You don't have to do that. So now that I've got this animation player, you'll see we've got this animation tab here. We can open that up and I can click animation, new, and let's call this rotate. Okay, so now that we've got this, you'll see that there's all these keys now when we click on stuff. So now that we're gonna rotate our cube, we, are, we can click the key on the cube's rotation. And here we go. It now pro gives us this dialog box asking us to create a new track for the property rotation and insert key. We're going to create that and we're also going to leave this check create reset tracks, which is going to just keep the default uh, position that we've got on our cube right now, or rotation not position, sorry. Okay, so um, to add more keyframes, because like if we just play our animation right now, our cube stays still. So I'm just going to go and make this animation two seconds long. So go over here, type two. And then at one second, I am going to have the cube at 180 degrees rotated on the Y. And then I'm going to click the key again, and it's going to add another keyframe. So I'm going to continue to play this animation. Uh, sorry, play this animation. And you can see that it rotates 180 degrees in one second, and then the other second, it just remains still. So at this two second mark now, I am going to go and type in 100 or 360 degrees and click the key. And there we go. We've got another keyframe. And so it's going to rotate all the way around in our animation. Okay, now I'm going to click uh, animation looping. So if we play our animation, it's just going to keep looping over and over again. All right, let's create another animation. So go animation, new, and then I will call this up and down. Okay, now I'm going to go with the position on this one, and we're just going to move the cube up and down. So I'm going to press the key, once again, create the reset track, which is just another animation in here. So we've got a rotate our, and reset, which just has our defaults in here. So I'm going to go back to our up and down, and I am going to do it over two seconds again. At 0.5 seconds, I am going to have the Y be at 0 0.25, and then add the key. One second, I'm going to have it back at the 0.5, add the key. At one and a half seconds, I'm going to have it at 0.75, add the key, and then at two seconds, it's going to go back to the 0.5 in its position. And I'm going to turn on looping for this one as well, and then I'm going to hit play. And there we go. We've got that nice looping animation. So now we've got these two different animations. Um... I would like to have the rotate one be our default one that just automatically plays when it starts. So you can go and click this button, auto play on load. And there you go. That's your now default. So if we built this, our cube's rotating. Okay, now let's trigger these animations through code. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to add a script, new script, gd, yes. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this ready function we don't need that okay i'm going to say if input dot e is key pressed e um yeah i'll just do key zero if key zero is pressed then what we'll do is we'll play and we'll have to type in the name of our animation that we gave it here so um we named one rotate one up and down and one reset so uh we'll go and play the up and down one up and down this has to be typed exactly, so uh, with your uh, uh, capitals and lower cases, they have to be identical. So you got to watch out for that, or it just will throw an error. Okay, let's go and run this again. 
And there you go. You see it's going up and down, but now you can see that it's kind of on an angle. It kept its rotation from the first animation, even though we're in the second animation now. So we can go back, and that's what our reset is for. So what we can do is play, reset. There you go. We've got our reset animation now. And then when the reset animation is done, we can actually cue our up and down one. That way, the reset animation will play, and once it's done, since it's not a looping animation, it'll just play the next animation in the queue, which will be our up and down. All right, let's go back to our build, and there you go. As you can see, it's all working now. All right, if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe, and if you would like us to go further in depth into the Godot animation system, please let us know in a comment, uh, in, or if you have any suggestions for future videos on anything you'd like to learn. Please let us know. Uh, thank you. Uh, bye.